Oh my god. <coughs> Excuse me, what the fuck? We have a new day, another crime, a new day, another dollar. Not for me, but for the fine people of Jacksonville, Florida. My god. The other day, uh, I'm not sure if you remember, because I'm sure you do, we covered a video of a man getting changed in a woman's toilet, even though he was transgender, which is, you know, apparently fine. But now, we have another example of a man videoing women pretending to be a woman in the woman's restroom. He filmed him like an, a dirty little weasel he is. Got caught, pretending that he didn't, deleted the pictures, and now apparently he's getting away with it. But we're going to break all that shit down, just like you break an egg to make an omelette. I, too, will be cracking some eggs because this shit annoys me. People are getting away with stuff that they should not be getting away with. And don't get me wrong, I'm not some Nazi fucking... Fuck them a lot. No, no, no. I'm the opposite. If you're happy, I'm happy. But now we're starting to affect other people that aren't making them happy. You know, these people right here are using this as a loophole and a way of getting around things, and it's not okay. And it needs shouting out and pointing out and criminalizing. I know nothing, as Jon Snow once told me. Uh, Jon Snow didn't say that. Egret once told me, I know nothing, Jon Snow. That is true. I have to admit, I do know nothing. But this, I do know, is unacceptable and needs calling out and needs rules and laws in place to properly have procedures for this. Maybe they should have a transgendered toilet. Why do we have three? You know what I mean? A man, woman, and then a tranny toilet. Tranny toilet? Can I say that? I didn't mean that rudely. A transsexual toilet. A man and a woman toilet. One way, if you can go in that you don't care, and that's where the transgenders go. Or do people think that's segregation? Do we have someone growing a tash and calling themselves Hitler if they decide that? You know what I mean? Like, ugh, let's play it. Nobody let this guy out! Delete your recording! You cannot get out! Firstly, let's do a fit check. Um, this guy screams. High school was bullied as a kid, didn't have too many friends, picks his nose and flicks it out of the window type of guy. And that's my, me being racist towards him being white, having a straw hat on by the place of hair and some trackies that his mum probably bought him when he was 12 years old that only just now fit him. His top looks like he's off to go play basketball with, you know, the disabled kids in the wheelchairs, you know, I wish there's nothing wrong with but that's what he's going to go do. Red flags already. He's on his phone quickly deleting things, getting ready for for the chaos. Look, he looks shocked, bro. He's like, oh my God, I've been caught. I'm fucked. So this man was videoing women, my mother included, in the women's restrooms. You arrested you us? Violated our fucking fucking cops, privacy. Man. You're so fucking sick for that. You know what I there we go, look, that's what it was like, he had it like that. Um, I'm not actually sure if this guy pretended to be a female, he might have actually just gone in there, you know, and not given a dog's bollocks about what people thought or did or anything like that. Look look at that, That, that that's disgraceful. I might, if I saw that, I would be fucking fuck. Be like, what the fuck? I would, doesn't matter if I've wiped or not, bro, I'm standing up, kicking down his door and his head, I'm going to be like that school bully, you know, where they put their head down the toilet and flush it and, and like flushed away, he's going to teleport to a different dimension or something, but he is getting his head right down that loo. My God. Mate, I was going to say, someone needs to get his phone immediately because he's destroying all the evidence. He's going in recently, deleted, and he's getting, you know, he's deleting it all. You're just letting him get away with it. I'd just grab his phone immediately and just, you know, well, no, I wouldn't, but you know what I mean? Maybe he isn't pretending to be a transgender. Maybe I was wrong, but I did read somewhere, so you got to be careful online, so apologies if I'm, you know, he would be able to say, oh, I'm a transgender, I'm allowed in there. You know what I mean? Even if he does have a schlong. That's fucking sick. No, 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 no you stay no. here. Call the fucking cops. No, no, you stay no, here. You're not leaving the store. No. So, what happened, I had you. Let's let, let, I suppose we should conclude that. He's a man in the woman's toilets. He might have been playing the transgender card. I'm not saying he did, but I read he did. He then films, gets caught, deletes the footage, you know, deletes the evidence that would incriminate him and probably get him sentenced. These people around him let him do it, and then they call the police. He escapes, I think. He, you know, he manages to get away, and then the police decide to do their jobs, and, you know, oh, maybe we should stop eating these donuts and take our fingers out of our butt crack. And they issued this, do you know me? Office and Sheriff Jacksonville. They've been looking for this dude or woman. I think it's a dude. You know what I mean? You can't be too careful these days, bro. I include everyone in everything. They posted this. They said, look at him. You've seen this, this weasel, this absolute paedophile in the women's toilets. And you'll probably get away with it. But don't worry. We have an update from this lovely gentleman here. He explains the absolute, um, the ending, what happens. Confirmed the name. And I have a visual. So... 
Titus McDonald, come on down. It's funny how many people are- Titus McDonald, this is the man behind the crime. Very bold to have a Facebook page while doing things like this. I'm not sure what he thought he was going to get away with. He, he, he wasn't very discreet, you know what I mean? He wasn't level 100 sneak. He literally stuck his phone on his foot. Like, you know, it's it's not very difficult to um, spot it. You know, her her vision was going off in a video game or whatever, you know what I mean? She sensed something was wrong. She hit triangle to counter and she got her phone out and took a picture of him filming her and thankfully that evidence could be very important. I left a comment that says my mom was contacted by the detective tonight and he was arrested a uh, little bit of an update on that though he was not arrested he was detained uh, i'm assuming and questioned and then released which doesn't mean the investigation is over so he basically you you know what detained is he, he was taken in there's not enough evidence they thought they'd have a conversation with him if he'd admit to anything uh, i presume he didn't they searched his phone and unsurprisingly he deleted everything that was on it uh, to do with this who would have thought he had a he had a brain like oh, i've just been caught the police are probably going to come find me they're going to want to go on my phone I, I think i should um maybe delete them yeah do you think that's a good idea all right well look they gave me a couple days to do it, so I'm fine. You know what I mean? Like, it, it's gone. That shit is gone to space. It's disappeared faster than Elon Musk going to Mars. It's evaporated, like in the Sahara Desert when you have that one sip of water and you drop it, it's gone. It's gone quick, bruh. But interesting thing happened on this comment thread. Just a couple responses later, Riley here said, You're goofy. He was literally let out hours later because there was nothing on the phone. Oh, really? There was nothing on the phone that he had days to delete anything that was on there from? after being publicly confronted in a video going viral. That's shocking. You do know that uh, deleting it from the phone is not enough if they do like forensics on that phone, right? I did have a theory. I do know you, you get obviously metadata and things on videos, pictures. It is always there on your phone, even if you double delete that shit. So hopefully if the police, you know, pull their finger out their butt crack, they might actually be able to, you know, arrest this pedophile and I don't know, put him behind bars. It's a crazy thought, I know. Don't cancel me for suggesting to arrest the person, but it's just a theory. A game theory. But what's more interesting is, uh, Riley, my dear, you seem to have intimate information about this situation. Uh, why would that be? Like, why do you have all this information about what's going oh, on? Oh, no. Inside information. His girlfriend. Maybe he's not a transgender then. I... Someone lied to me online, he's not a transgender. I repeat, he's not a transgender, but he's still a pedophile. He still did something wrong, pretended to be a girl, I guess. Literally like he played Assassin's Creed, you know, blended in with the crowd. Blended in, got into a cubicle and then failed. Uh, that's an interesting profile picture. <gasps> Riley, who is that in your selfie? Listen, I understand you want to stand up for your boyfriend, but let's have a little come to Jesus moment, shall we? So this is the photo that the victim took of the man in the stall next to her, allegedly taking videos or photos of her. Note the shoes and the pants. And this is from the video of your boyfriend being confronted. Uh, shoes, pants are the same. And on his phone that he's holding, oh, what's that right there? Oh, that looks like that same sticker. So what exactly was the situation if that's not what he was doing? So he's obviously filmed it, gone to his girlfriend, told him that they're trying to like cancel him for bullshit that wasn't real, which is bullshit. He's clearly done something wrong and is gonna get caught and punished, fingers crossed. Poor girl is obviously been lied to, manipulated. I mean, this video couldn't be any clearer. He panics like a Pokemon when you just ran through the bushes and attacked it. He is, you know, heart rate up. He can't believe it. He's in absolute focus mode, like he's just drank three Red Bulls. He's on his phone, deleting everything, making sure that all the evidence is gone. You can see his chest going up and down like he's on a vape pen for 10 years of his life. He's been caught. He's lied to his girlfriend. He's going to manipulate the truth. I just hope this absolute scumbag is brought to justice and thrown in a cell. Thank you for watching. Um, someone lied to me so he's obviously not pretended to be a woman and gone in there so i apologize for saying that but it, it, it was the opening theory uh, that's obviously being debunked and he's just a general dirtbag scumbag human thank you so much uh, let's go catch this fucking bitch and throw him away for life